WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. Now, that's to be expected. We've taken a look at profile levels that suggest that we're in a consolidation pattern. So this is to be expected. We should see this for a few days out here. You've got the Dow up 98 points, S&P up 5, NASDAQ up 81, the Russell's down 25, semis are flat out there. You've got gold trading flat. It's trading out at 1964. Silver's up 28 pennies. That's a 1.1% move, trading out at 25.23. Like to recruit off a buck six. Three natural gas down a penny and 30 year treasury printed out 126.28. That is back for ticks. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. ES Mini, we're trading above profile. We negated or it negated its uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator top from a couple, of day, a couple of days ago. So this suggests it wants to continue to get higher. But if we do get, or when we do get, a bearish reversal candle, that will suggest that we've got at least a short term top. Could be more than that, right? Because we all know and take a look at the seasonal patterns uh, that tops happen right about now. Spot volatility is still well below its 50-day exponential moving average, but it is starting to rise a little bit. So you could start to get a very small divergence with the S&P or the ES Mini rising with the spot volatility doing the same thing. The NASDAQ did negate its TD9 count or TD sequential count yesterday. So that suggests higher price. It did trigger, you don't see it here, but a road's meant to mitigate uh, signal has been triggered and therefore a, bull, a bearish reversal candle would also identify a top there. U.S. dollar index <clears throat> likely targeting 98, 987. But we really have to take a look at the euro, the yen and the great British pound out there. I uh, believe that a couple of them may be forming uh, some uh, some patterns. Uh, that would uh, suggest that the U.S. dollar index might find some legs right about here. Gold is uh, trading above the top of its daily profile, closed above it two days ago, again yesterday, again today. That suggestion wants to make that move up to the top of that box of the weekly time frame, 1995. Silver, it's in a mind of its own. It's up above the prior highs. The prior highs I'm referring to are the ones from back in uh, June. So now that sets up a, a move. Uh, get my cursor out here. That would be nice. That sets up a move towards the highs here in the uh, May time frame. Somewhere between 25.63 and 26.63. Lights we crude struggling at the top of its daily profile out there. Maybe lights we crude is signaling to you and I. We just have a consolidation that's going on. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Friday, please have a fantastic one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.